my first item or items are nails. These nails I got from AliExpress. They are, if you can see, kind of chrome. That funny uh, nail powder because I'm not sure how to do that yet. But I think these are the purple to blue, purple and green ones and these ones are the green and purples. They are 12 piece ready to go stick on nails and both from AliExpress. My next nails came from a magazine. Uh, they are 12 press on nails. We have purple and marble from Marble Manny. Um, simple, oops, focus. Simple instructions. They are ready to go. So you just take them out of there and peel off the backing and stick them right on your nails. There is only 12 of them, which I don't personally like, but it was a younger kids magazine, but they work, they will work perfectly for me. The next two nails are these ones I got at uh, Waitrose, I believe, in the Halloween section for two fifty. They are the my camera's having trouble focusing. Um, they are spiderweb nails. They're black, but you can see the red spiderweb on them. There are, I think, 12, possibly. These are, I think, are these the same? No, these are the actual just press-on nails without the glue already on the back. So I like these. I think there are only 12, so they're not my favourite. But I love them. Love the design. That's the design is a little hard for me to do, but that's why I bought them. Now, these ones are from Elegant Touch, but I bought them at Home Bargains. They are no mess, no stress, no glue. So you peel off the backing of these nails and stick them on. They are peel and press nails in elegant touch. Kind of French round almond design. Now moving on to miscellaneous makeup items. My first item is this, this Top Beauty All You Need Eyeshadow Palette. This palette is from Amazon. It comes with a wee safety slide. I'll just take that out of the way. And we've got one line of colours. And then the second more nude shades of colour. I love this palette because it's got this side for more vibrant colours and this side for more everyday colours. I haven't used this one yet but I am excited to try it. Um, if you can see with my lights there it's kind of sparkly, the actual component is sparkly. The pan sizes are quite big so just a wee bit longer than my, bigger than my nail. Um, the pigment is good. I have swatched a couple of them. These ones, and these ones in particular, will be perfect for me as I am quite light in skin tone. So I don't like going too dark with everyday makeup. My next miscellaneous makeup item is another eyeshadow palette. I'm just going to go through all my eyeshadow palettes. I have four? Yes. Yes, four. This is, I got this on eBay. You open it up like that. And you've got 
some beautiful colours in here. I'll do this with a flash in a second so you can have a look. The only problem with this wee eyeshadow palette is it's very small. As you can see it's quite a small palette and the pans are very thin but the glitters are good. And if we close it over the only problem with the outside is fingerprints. Moving on to my next palette I got from eBay. Was it eBay? Yes it was eBay. I got this one, it's a more kind of different colours of glitter. My last glitter palette was very neutral, but this glitter palette has everything. This, you can see, is very glittery. I will do this one again with a flash so you can see all the glitters. It comes with these annoying little things that I tried, that I tried to make work, but it didn't happen, I just kept them in there for aesthetics. This palette is from London Girl and it's the Glitter Eyeshadow Palette. Does it have a name? No, it doesn't. Unfortunately, ooh, this Glitter Palette doesn't really have a name. It is just the London Girl Glitter Palette. Now for my last palette, I got this one just mid-October, mid-October, um, from Home Bargains. Uh, Home Bargains is a UK kind of bargain store, if you like. And this palette here, it's, I bought it because it looks like a grey everyday palette. As you can see, I'll do this again with a flash so you can see them. I have swatched that one and it, I love this one here. It's um, a kind of a pinky pearlescent colour. But these here are what I would use for everyday makeup. Moving on to lipsticks, liquid lipsticks and lip balms. I recently got a beauty box. You can get these uh, really cheaply on uh, eBay. So this one beauty box sent me the lovely, I'll just move those ones out of the way. A lovely L'Oreal Paris. Uh, lipstick in, what is the shade name? Lovely rose. Oh, focus. Focus, 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 focus for me. Oh, three lovely rose. Now, this colour doesn't suit me. The, oh, this colour doesn't suit me the best as it's kind of, kind of baby rose pink, if you like. You can see that there if you... It's not a shade I would reach for every day. My second lipstick from that beauty box or mystery box, if you like, is in Velvet Beige 630 from... Where is it from? Where is it from? Where is it from? Where is it from? Maybelline. Now, this colour suits me really well. I like putting lipsticks over, uh, actual lipsticks over liquid lipsticks. So here is this one. It's a nice kind of nude, but a warmer nude.
Moving on, I got this uh, lip balm from the Beauty Box as well. It's a uh, Baby Lips in, I think it's Sip Lemon Zap. Lemon Zap. I'm not a fan of lemony things, but this one has to be my favourite. And it's just one of the normal lip balms. On to the liquid lipsticks. This is a metal foil liquid lipstick in, let me see if it has a name. Does it have a name? Oh yes, it does. Labyrinth. Now this is a kind of um kind of blue dark blue lipstick. There we go. It's it has the nice doe foot applicator there and it's moving on to what promised to be a really nice red, kind of Christmas red matte liquid lipstick. Unfortunately this one is a little bit orange for me. I am sad, I love my liquid lipsticks in red, but this one is a little bit too um, orange for me. It has an interesting, oh, I can't get it open. It has an interesting kind of wee applicator, but it's not for me. Sorry for colour. Moving on now to miscellaneous beauty items, other beauty items. So, we first have these two by L'Oreal Paris. Oh, that one's upside down. We have these eyeshadow palettes. The oh, palettes, uh, singles. We have one in a just a black matte. Now, if you can see that orange speck, it's because of my nice Halloween lights I got at home bargains during the Halloween season and then we have oh don't drop it we have this more shimmery one I will do this one with a flash so you can have a look my next two items are in boxes one in holographic one one is full of. so we'll start with that one oh out the shot please so this I got free in a magazine Oh, there we go, opened it. This is a little hula contour stick. Now, when I mean little, I mean little. You don't turn it the right way, that might help. This is a great colour for me. It's tiny, but it works perfectly. Um, this is the hula quick contour stick. Um, soft in soft bronze. Is it soft bronze? Yes. Soft bronze. This is another item from wish.com expectation versus reality. So I bought this thinking it was quite big. It turns out to be tiny. Let me show you what's in it and here it is. Yes, it's tiny. That is 24 karat gold serum stuff. I'm not exactly sure. I just quite like the look of it. Now, if you think, look at this ghost here. And look at the size. Oh. And look at the size difference. He is just about as big as the ghost. It is a lovely, lovely serum. It's nice. To put on before foundation and then just put foundation over it and then it's and then it's good okay starting with the last four things i got these they are little rhinestones to go on your nails we've got red green gold black silver pink turquoise yellow purple pink violet and silver again yeah we've got two different types of silver that silver and that silver got this on ebay and can't wait to use it. these two were an absolute steal these were from wish they are two um gel nails 
they are this one is a what color is that one that one is a black spackle one and this one is a red spackle one i'm not going to take them out of the bottle because they are kind of gel and gloopy so you won't be able to see them i'll do my nails and then you'll be able to see them my very last item is long lasting perfection from collection try and say that 10 times fast i got it in porcelain number one i've been wanting this foundation forever i got it in ebay because it was cheaper and that is the bottle it is glass we have the pump and i can't wait to use it i haven't used it yet i will be using it for uni because I don't want to use my more expensive foundation if I go to uni three four days a week so I got that one 